Hello, um, let me show what I got, what I got uh, from the flea market today. So I got these two GPUs. They are the same, well, almost the same, different models, but uh, they are both HD 6850. I paid around, uh, I paid $16 for both of them. So that's $8 each. I got this power supply. It's 550 watts. I paid five for it, and then we got uh, Logitech G400S mouse, also five dollars. Uh, I got this uh, HP ProDesk Mini. I believe it's G2 version. Yeah, it's G2 Mini. Uh, paid fifty for it. Hopefully, it works. Got the adapter for it as well. A uh, total of 16 gigs of uh, DDR3. No, this one is 8 gigs, 4 gigs, and 2 times 2 gigs. That was $12. Uh, I got this combo. It, it's a uh, 11.55 board. Uh, I paid 10 for it. And then I got this case. It came with the power supply, it was $8 as well, so that's about uh, 96 I think, something like that. So I'm gonna uh, try and build a PC from all of this. So I got, I don't, I don't know if this power supply is gonna be strong enough anyway, it's just some generic cheap tech. ESU. I don't know if it even has a six pin. Uh, this is for this is for the motherboard for the CPU. Oh yeah, it has. There is a pin, so I'm gonna try that. Hopefully, it's strong enough. Um. So anyway, I'm gonna. Take one of the graphics cards and try if they work. Probably gonna go for the other one because this one needs two times six pin. I'm gonna test that one out in another build. So I'll try this one, it needs a six pin. And let's see if it's gonna work. This power supply looks clean and clean enough, so it probably works. Hopefully, I try to smell it. There's no burnt burnt smell. And yeah, this one over here is really dirty. So, well, let's get cleaning. So some of you asked me how I clean my PC parts in the other video. So all you really need is a soft brush and a vacuum cleaner. What you want to do is uh, turn on your vacuum cleaner and while you are brushing just hold your vacuum really close so it picks up all the dirt. And that's basically it. Okay, first we're gonna need to take, actually I'm gonna vacuum what I can and then we are gonna brush and take off the tower cooler.
this hasn't been cleaned in a while. <clears throat> Let's see what processor we got. I don't know if you can see, but it's i5 2500K, uh, so not so bad. But we still have to test out if it even turns on. I'm gonna risk it and try to put everything together and turn it on and see what we got. For cleaning the fence and stuff like that I just used 70% alcohol because uh, I had a hard time finding the better one but this works just fine so I just put some um, put some alcohol on microfiber towels and just rub it like that And already see how much dirt it how much dirt came off. So just keep doing it until it's clean. And if you want some uh, extra shine, you can always uh, use some uh, multi-purpose spray. So if it's just a little bit on a cloth. And then just wipe it. Just don't put too much because uh, 
it doesn't smell that good so just put a tiny bit for the shine it will make it look a little bit cleaner this sticker is pissing me off So you can see it looks a lot cleaner now. I'm gonna put some double sided tape on this later. Okay. itself is not dirty well at least not as much as the other things as you can see there is just a tiny layer of uh, dust settling down there yeah the rest is fine This is not it. Come on. Yep, that's it. Yep, that's it. Forgot the black thingies.
just connect everything and test it out. I'm gonna do cable management later, so I don't waste time on fixing it. If it doesn't work, there's no point. I'm gonna start out with one stick. If the others don't don't work, it's not gonna turn on, so I'm gonna try one at a time. Clicky. Okay. Um yeah, I need to make some room for the GPU. Okay, so it it's powering on. Will it post? Oh yes, nice, nice. Well, except uh, the lines on the screen. I'm guessing that's the GPU. I'm gonna try another cable for the GPU. Same lines. Guess it's a faulty GPU then. So I guess I'm gonna have to use the other power supply or not. Doesn't have um, it, uh, it has six plus one pin. I guess I could use the Molex extension. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sadly, I'll try to clean this GPU up and change the thermal paste. Maybe, just maybe, it won't have the same problem. So see you in a bit. So looking through the box, I found this power supply and. Luckily, I found this one, a uh, SATA to 6 pin connected to the power supply, so I'm not going to have to make my own. I'm going to save me a lot of time, so I'm going to use this and try the other GPU. So I can keep this power supply in there and just uh, connect the 6 pin to a SATA and see if that works. Oh, okay, so this one works fine. I'm gonna use this one then. Sadly, the other one has some issues. I'm gonna try to fix that. Maybe make a separate video on it. Um, yeah, so... I'll test out the other RAM sticks now, so see if it works. If not, I'm gonna keep it on 8 gigabytes. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
So that's 16 gigs of RAM, i5, 2500K. Uh, HD 6850, one gigs. Not too bad. So I'm gonna, uh, since it works, I'm just gonna do the cable management now. Not gonna be perfect because it's a cheap PC, so it doesn't really matter. I just don't like the mess inside. So I'm gonna stick all the cables behind and close it. So let's do that now. These cables are super short. I don't know if I can pull it anymore. Yeah, it's gonna go. It's gonna have to go here. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. I need a hard drive for this. I got some laying around the thing. Uh, yeah, I got this one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's the condition of it. Mm, I have no idea if it even works. We're gonna try it anyway, so let's see. Is it possible? Yeah, I managed to cut myself. see what I'm doing. Okay, we got the reset. Ah, where's the power button? Okay. Now this is uh, a really stupid way to do it, but... I really don't care. I'm just gonna pack everything in and that's it. This is the lazy way to do it. Let's push it in there, that's it.
So that's the PC. I just have to pull these inside a bit. Yeah, anyway, um, that's the built PC. I'm gonna install Windows and test out some games. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that in the next episode. Or next video as you wish so I paid ten dollars for for the motherboard and, motherboard and the CPU I paid 12 for the RAM 16 gigs so that's 22 I paid 8 for the GPU that's 30 and I paid for the case and the power supply it was uh eight dollars so that's 38 dollars for the whole pc the only thing it was missing was the hard drive i found this in my drawer i think i paid like like seven dollars for it two years ago or something but i'm not sure if it works or not so this is a simple and small channel if you like what i'm doing you can always subscribe it would help a lot because it keeps me motivated to keep uh, looking for cheap PCs. So I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.